Superlatives are much overused in a game of football, but this is a tribute to a man for whom no accolade is too great. Born as Valdo Geraldo Jr. on the 22nd of February 1973, Janinho is one of the all-time greats. The boy wonder from Brazil is truly a legend in his own lifetime, a genius with magical soccer skills. It all began in October 1995. Brian Robson took the world of soccer by surprise when he persuaded the little fella to join his newly promoted side. The fee just 4.75 million pounds from Sao Paulo. Middlesbrough had found themselves a real bargain. Middlesbrough was the centre of worldwide attention and Janinho was given a welcome of astonishing magnitude by the euphoric Teesside public. Morning, gents. Uh, well, as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I look about this room um, and I can see what interest it has created uh, bringing Janinho to Middlesbrough. Um, I think uh, there's not one sort of person missing from the media world today. Um, and that shows um, what charisma Juninho has brought to our football club. Um, I believe that the lad the lad enjoys football with us. Uh, we try to pass the ball, which will suit his game. Uh, people talk in, you know, in this country about him settling in uh, to the English environment. But um, I know he's a tough character. He wants to try and be the best player in the world um, and I'm sure he'll work hard and he'll try everything um, within himself to try and achieve that. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, when I've got a player who is committed like that, um, those are the type of players I want in my football club. Uh, we're looking forward to him playing for the team. Uh, all the players uh, relishing him coming in training with them. Uh, and I'm sure Juninho will enjoy it. What do you think of Jorginho? Class. 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 The best. You wouldn't have got this much reception if the Queen had turned up. Look at that. The smell is good. You think Jorginho is going to put Middlesbrough on the map now? Yeah. Middlesbrough's yeah. already on the map look, with the team. Look out, on. Newcastle. We're going to knock you off the top. OK, lads, you've got your photos. We are constantly looking to improve the playing staff at the football club. Brian makes the decisions on that. He's been tracking Janino uh, since the Umbro Cup and I think maybe even before then. And it's all tribute to him and to Keith Lamb. They've spent a lot of time in Brazil. There's a lot of things that have happened that have gone unnoticed and, uh, and the press aren't aware of. But it's been uh, a huge amount of work uh, by the two of them to deliver Janino. Uh, we believe that in the style that Brian wants to play, that he can fit in and that he can make a significant contribution, contribution to our further progress. Graham, the fans have gone home now, but it's been a great day for Middlesbrough Football Club. A tremendous day for Middlesbrough Football Club, yeah. One that the fans and everybody that works for the club will remember for a long, long time. We haven't seen him play yet and we're all excited already.
big days here, Brian. Uh, looking forward to it. Well, they're all big days, but um, I know with all the publicity, it's um, everybody's looking forward to today's game because of Juninho. He's just arrived, so the fans are getting their first taste of him at the ground. Have you had a chance to have a chat with him about the day? Have you given him any special instructions about you know how to handle the pressure? No, I mean, I, I keep saying this about pressure. Um, you know, he, he was Brazilian Player of the Year. He, he's played for Brazil over 20 times and that. Um, being classed as the best player in Brazil, that, that's pressure in itself. Uh, so he's used to all the hype that goes on around games and that. And, um, you know, I'm sure he'll take it in his stride today. You've trained with him for a week. What have you seen of him in training? I mean, does he impress in training? Yeah, I mean, he's for me, he's outstanding. Uh, I was fortunate to see him uh, in the Umbro Cup in the summer, and I thought he was outstanding then. And to actually sign a, a player of Janino's class just shows the ambition of the club. And, you know, the lads will be working hard again today. And, you know, that's a good thing with Janino's game. Although he's, he's a world-class player, he'll work hard for the team. And, you know, that's why Brian Robson's bought him as well. So. Like I say, it'd be very nice uh, to see him play and all, all week in training the lads have been, you know, admiring his skills and, you know, hopefully he can perform today. The air of expectation was almost overpowering at Janinho's first match in a Middlesbrough shirt. The eyes of the world were very much on the Selnet Riverside Stadium on the day Janinho made his debut against Leeds United, watched by a new and colourful army of excited fans and his proud parents who were also making their home on Seaside. Good tackling back though by the Middlesbrough man. Oh, Kelly's missed it. Now Janino could be away. He's away from the Callister. Slips it through towards Fjortoft. Great chance for Middlesbrough. And it's a goal for Middlesbrough. And Janino makes his presence felt. Ten minutes into his debut with a defence splitting pass that puts Leeds a goal down. There's a volcanic eruption at the Riverside Stadium as Middlesbrough open the scoring and the Brazilian makes his first real impact. a goal and he's also been shown the yellow card Obviously fitting Janino in is going to take time to gel but uh, the, way, the way he started must give you cause for promise Yes it does, there was a lot of good movement uh, with our front players um, and things which we can work on. Uh, so it did look bright, and once the lads settled down uh, here, you know, and he, he gets into the training routines and gets used to the players, then uh, hopefully we can even see more f uh, of that type of football from him. I can't believe he got booked. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite funny. He gets kicked all over the face, and then he gets booked. But all right, that's good for him. He's his first yellow card in England, so perhaps it's a good start for him. Janinho, lovely skills, Janinho all the way, and the ball for Robson, yes! Oh, that would have had real symmetry about it. Fjortov, Janinho, now what can he do here? Still he has it, Janinho! Bob is in! He's like a hot knife through butter. He just seems to cut through defences. Just try to slip it into Barnes. But inevitably almost Pollock won it now. Janinho. Paketeer cuts across him. Fiortov stayed on side. Oh, blistering shot. And Liverpool can play it out in safety. 
Não, que eu estava dizendo que as pessoas aqui são são muito amigas, né? Um, he came. It's been very nice since he came. People have been very kind to him. He's been able to relax into it. And he wants to say that he didn't come here to take anyone's place. He came to help the team fit in, and he feels that's happening. Here goes Phil Stamp. The whole stadium is on his feet. Oh, he'll enjoy that. Estou gostando bastante o o lugar também em He's very happy here. The area he's living in is very quiet, which he likes, and the neighbors are wonderful. So he's very happy. Some late glory still in this. Good save again from Bosnich after Janino's run. The run being made on the right by Dibble. Here he is. Can he deliver the cross? Bobbled at him. He had to control it. You are top. Brilliant control. A chance here. One one. Juninho, the scorer. The stand rises in appreciation. It's only his second goal since arriving here on Seaside. But what a golden opportunity it was! And what about English football? Is he enjoying playing English football? Está gostando do jogo inglês? Não, o jogo inglês é um, é um jogo bastante disputado, né? Bastante corrido. É dificilmente você vê a bola. It's a very fast game. The game, the ball doesn't go out of play for very long, and also there are a lot of high balls, which is they're a bit difficult for him. Que tá me dificultando um pouco, mas do resto tá tudo bem. How does it differ? To Brazilian football. Qual é a diferença entre o jogo inglês e o jogo brasileiro? O jogo brasileiro é um jogo mais cadenciado, não? It's a lot slower. It's a lot more rhythm paced. Um, there's a lot more touch of the ball, and um, a lot they get a lot more opportunity to pass the ball. But the game really has picked up tempo now. Fleming bursting forward. Fiorentov available if he can feed him. Janino wants it and gets it. Transformation in this game, unbelievable. Here's Janino, Freestone and Fjortoft up ahead. Fjortoft though goes bombing through. This could be a good goal. It's Freestone. Freestone couldn't provide the finish, but what a run from this man. But interestingly, if there is any question mark against Freestone's fitness with this sort of lead, it would be a nice time to bring on the other youngster. Middlesbrough going wild, Janino! But is he settling into English football? Is he now enjoying it? Mas agora você gosta do jogo aqui? Gosto, gosto. Gosto muito. E também a... Yes, he is settling into it and he likes it. And the fact that wherever he goes, the stadiums are full, really motivates him to play well and enjoy it. Yes, he is settling into it. Janino had wasted no time settling in at the Riverside. And one of his great... for more, got there, now back, and he's got his goal! Good finish! So, Denmark had their name to the scoreline. Juninho with the corner kick, Beck right on the goal line. Here he is with the header! Oh, 2-0! Oh, what a debut! Musto, Janino, Ravanelli begins his run, and here is Ravanelli, Schmeichel's out, and Ravanelli scored! into the path of Juninho. And here's Ravanelli, and here's number three. Look at the celebrations behind Ravanelli and Juninho. This is Fleming. Looking to get back away, that's a good ball. Can Beck do it? Oh, he's beaten Bosnich. 2-0! Superb ball by Fleming. 32 minutes gone.
Richardson tries one. Oh, fabulous goal! Absolute classic strike. Juninho on the outside.